Mr. Senator Muir. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport, Senator Nash. Uh, probationary licence holders are tragically overrepresented in our roads. The Keys to Drive Learner program, uh, Learner Driver program was designed to save lives amongst Australia's youngest and most vulnerable drivers. Keys to Drive has so far provided more than 200,000 free lessons to both young Australian drivers and their parents or guardian and is helping reduce the rate of death and injury on our roads. Is the Minister, is the minister aware that no government funding uh, to the Keys to Drive program is allocated beyond 30th of June 2016? The Minister for Regional Development representing the Minister of Infrastructure and Transport, Senator Nash. Thank you very much, Mr President, and I thank the Senator for his question and for some advance notice of it. Uh, indeed, the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport is very well aware of this program, uh, as am I, and indeed the Senator is correct in identifying that the current funding does cease on 30 June this year. Um, however, we are currently considering the future of that funding in the, the context of the current budget process. I would note, Mr President, that when the coalition came to government in 2013, we extended the funding to Keys to Drive at that point, uh, recognising the, uh, the importance of that program at that particular point in time. I think all of us in this place on both sides of the chamber, Mr President, would recognise how important it is that we do uh, as much as we can across the country, not just as parliamentarians but as parents and family members, to ensure that our young people are as safe as possible in their vehicles. So we will be looking at this, uh, Mr President, in terms of the, of the context of the budget. But I do acknowledge the Senator's uh, very real interest in this and reflect also that the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport has been well and truly on the record indicating his very real concern around road safety issues. Uh, indeed, he has been doing that for some time prior to taking up his ministerial responsibilities. Thank you, Minister. Senator Muir, supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr President, and, and thank you for your answer, Minister. Um, the Australian Automobile Association commissioned the University of New South Wales to conduct um, research which highlights that uh, key to drive program uh, that the key to drive program participants are 28 per cent less likely than non trained drivers to be involved in a car crash uh, before um, uh, to be involved in a car crash in the first six months as a P plater. Is the government aware of these findings or the associated savings that will result from the reduction in road trauma? Minister. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, indeed, the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport is aware of the report from the AAA, as is the government more broadly. And the, the findings are, are, of course, of great interest to the government while we are looking at uh, future arrangements when it comes to the Keys to Drive program. The minister, as I understand it, uh, through you, Mr President, Senator, has been working very closely with stakeholders. We'll, of course, be talking to the Australian Automobile Association about that report. I can only reiterate, Mr President, uh, that this issue of safety for our young people on the roads is one that is absolutely paramount for this government. Uh, as a mother, having had two young boys go through the process of getting their licence, I think we all, as I indicated before in this chamber, want to ensure ensure that our young people are as safe as they possibly can be on our roads. Thank you, Minister. Senator Muir, final supplement. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Um, given the fact that uh, the Keys to Drive Learner Driver program has proven to be so effective in reducing road crashes and injuries amongst participants, uh, will the government commit uh, I know the government's aware, but will the government commit uh, funding to the Keys to Drive Learner program beyond uh, July uh, sorry, beyond June thirty? Minister. Thank you, Mr President, and I'm sure the Senator would be well aware that I can't commit to government funding at this point in time today when it comes to uh, the budget processes. I think everybody around this chamber would, uh, would be very well aware that I was not going to do this. What I can commit to the Senator, of course, Mr President, is that the government will very thoroughly review this particular program. We are we are uh, we are I'll take I'll take Senator's interjection, Mr President, say we'll have a look at it. We'll do more than have a look at it, which is something those on the other side historically might have done. We will in a thorough, detailed manner deliberate over the future of this program, recognising of course that the government uh, has as paramount. The, the need to take decisions that will ensure the safety of our young people on our roads.